Good day. We've got CEO Stuart Jara of Hydrograph joining us today. Hydrograph produces and develops graphene and graphene-based solutions for composites, coatings, lubricants, and energy storage. It's Thursday, September the 21st. I'm Martin Gago with Market Radius Research. Remember, this is neither recommendation nor investment advice. We're here to learn about the company. Stuart, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome, and please give us an overview on your recent news and what it means for Hydrograph. Yeah, again, thank you, Martin, for having me. Um, I, I really enjoy sharing our developments with, um, with your community. Um, we announced two major steps here, all in line with our strategy um, and different parts of the strategy. The first one was a partnership with EMP Shield, um, which is about exploring and developing products to avoid electromagnetic interference. Uh, the part of the strategy that supports is, say, is recognizing when we don't have internal capabilities or knowledge or certain certain expertise in a different area, but we will work with others who do to out, put in the market a graphene-oriented product. And this is a great example of exactly that, where EMP Shield, that is what they do. They're into the electronics area. They have a problem, the problem of actually avoiding electromagnetic interference. Um, with graphene, and they, they came and they approached us, about a way of using graphene to avoid that electromagnetic interference. The other net major announcement was our partnership with the Graphene Engineering and Innovation Center, or we call the GEEK, uh, related to the University of Manchester. Uh, we recognize that the way to market is to develop applications. And you heard me talk about, it's about R&D and applications. How do we get our graphene into our customers' materials uh, the best, all about applications. What the Geek provides us is 40 million pounds of equipment and research and floor space to help accelerate our application development, to help us get into our customer markets. Um, so very key to our strategy as well. So really two uh, great announcements, pretty busy last couple of weeks. I can see that. So just to be clear, there is probably not going to be a big sort of generic bulk market for graphene where you just say, I'll take 100 pounds of it. It's going to be, you have to work very closely with your clients to develop specific solutions for the problems they have, how to integrate it. What is not just sprinkling a little bit of salt into their recipe. So this is a lot of... Um, hard development to actually get the proper solution. Uh, well, that, that's right. That's the upfront part, right? It's, it's, a, it's about how do we actually optimize graphene integration with their materials to get the exact pro properties you want in their products. Once we, once we get that formula, we do expect volumes to ramp up very quickly into the tonnage amounts. Um, at that point, we're spec'd in and part of their products for 10, 20, 30 years, as these products have a long life cycle. Yeah, so you're, you're not going to, you don't just get a phone call and say, hey, we'll take a couple of tons of it. We're, we got to, you, you build a relationship, you devote, design and develop the product, and you're able to tweak your graphene, your end product to provide certain characteristics that they want. All graphene is not the same. They're different purity sizes uh dimensions and and so forth to it and you're able to tweak some of those uh parameters to it we can so we, we've shown we could increase the number of layers we could increase the surface areas um, we could actually functionalize it because we start with chemistry and, and which is very unique to our graphene where we actually can functionalize the outer shell of our graphene which keeps the core center pristine we don't degrade the value of the graphene which is one of the challenges when you functionalize you add stuff Others add stuff to the total graphene, which degrades it. By doing the outside, we keep the graphene pure. But it's that, it's that interaction with the customers, how best to optimize the graphene properties into your product. Too much graphene may be, may be not a good thing. What is that optimal level? That's what we work with, and that's the stage we're in right now. We're, we're currently in product testing with about 17 different customers. Um, so this is actually testing in their products. So with the University of Manchester, you're able to use their facilities and they, they've spent uh, tens of millions of dollars building out uh, this graphene research center. So you can either use work with their researchers, use their facilities 
working with your customers to try to how to optimize the the best solution for them? Yeah, they provide us actually two paths of, of leveraging their facility. We actually are going to have our own team at the Geek. So these are Hydrograph employees, scientists, and they'll be working directly with on, on their own application works with customers using the Geek's facility. But there's also opportunities where we can partner with the Geek's talents, researchers, engineers on specific projects and application work. So that allows us to do a really a dual task where we say, hey, we have the inherent knowledge to do this. All we need is the equipment. Thank you. There it is. Or, you know what, we're missing some of the analytics, some of the scientific knowledge. Uh, you know, Geek, do you have it? Yes, let's partner and develop this application together. Provide speed to market. And that's what we're focused on right now. Yeah. And, and just to reiterate, <clears throat> Unima University of Manchester is pretty a big deal in the world of graphene. Mm -hmm. That's where it was invented less than 20 years ago. And they won their Nobel Prize um, soon after that so you're working with that same organization who literally invented graphene it is and, be, and because they invented it and because of the, this this facility is like the geek they've actually developed they became a, a a center of gravity to some extent for graphene knowledge so it's very common for customers especially those that are new to the graphene world to go there first ask questions so being there positions us very well to actually have that first interaction with customers and be part of the ecosystem that the geek generated and developed. Fascinating. Okay. And then with EMP Shield, they're a potential, or they're, they're, they're you're working with them to develop a, a solution. They, they're trying to reduce electromagnetic interference and then using graphene as part of their coding uh, to dissipate or, or however it works, uh, getting rid of that uh, uh, EMI interference. That's correct. And they're, you know, they're actually specifically working on building a semiconductor facility in Kansas. They've you know, announced that that's going to be about a $1.9 billion investment. It would go into that facility, but into their other products as well. So it's not just that one facility we're looking at. It is what other applications along with EMP, uh, whether it be defense, whether it be other commercial, whether it be other um, semiconductor facilities. Um, Remember, the EMI is actually a big risk, right? It's, it's not just about interfering of how two different electrical devices communicate with each other. But it's also avoiding unwanted communication both into and out of those electrical devices. So there could be a significant defense application as well. Yeah, because uh, EMI is a, a, a for all electronics, they have to be designed not to have that. But in the especially the military and uh, aerospace side, and, and that, that's a huge issue where for for all sorts of reasons, they have to make it proof against that. So their their electronics can't be vulnerable for that. that that's correct. So, so we view that as a huge market potential. A partner like EMP Shielding is great for that because they understand that we bring the graphene knowledge. They bring the application knowledge. Working together, we'll find a solution to crack that market. Stuart, thanks a lot. Uh, that was a great update on how, how Hydrograph is uh, evolving here. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you, Martin, for the opportunity.